Hey guys, gonna do a quick video about changing filament out in the XYZ. Um, if you guys can already see, uh, I've already heated up uh, the nozzle by, by going actually in the settings. Um, but now it's starting to push the filament back out. Don't know if you can hear, but the filament starts getting pushed back out. And it's kind of going buzz, buzz, buzz. So uh, let's just pull it out. There we go. So there's the filaments coming out. And there's a little bit of a string on the end of it. Um, that's pretty common with all 3D printers because that's like going in the nozzle. Um, so, one item that you guys probably already have is some snippers, but I'd always would, or it just tears right off. So maybe uh, maybe we'll leave it alone. Uh, the end of the plastic is kind of knurled. I don't know if you can see that, but it is, has a little bit of bites to it. But let's pull this filament back out. Basically, you just got to push it back through. There's a little little straw back here. Pull the filament back out. Um, I'm going to leave enough on it so it doesn't fall back in. I've heard it, that's been happening, but there's this little lockdown piece. Take that up and out. I'll move it over here real quick. But pull the filament right up and out. That was pretty easy. There's my white. That kind of was a stock filament that came into it. Um, let's load. Uh, let's try to load the black in now. Here we go. So let's go and grab the black. Oh, let's take a let's take a quick picture. So there's a three pin connector. I have another video about cracking this one open, but um, let's go and look down inside. But you can see down there, there is some uh, pin connectors on both sides. That's pretty cool. So uh, maybe you can retrofit this in the future. Um, is, this, is this solid back here? Yeah, so actually that is uh, solid. So I don't think you can take that out. Um, so you might be able to do a big amount of modding to be able to change this one out if you want to make it into a dual. So maybe it's not possible, but let's load the filament in with um, this piece going uh, going in this direction. So load it in. What the fuck fell down? Huh? Wait a sec guys, I'm sorry. I had a, that little rubber stopper falling down inside of here. Let's grab that out of there. So there we go. Move that to the side here. So watch out, rubber stopper can fall down. But let's go and uh, push the filament in. You'll feel it kind of snap down into place or kind of pressed out into place. I always have to move this thing back over, clip back into place, pull out some filament, there we go, and put it through the eye right there, pushing it through, here we go. Um, I guess I've always been around um, 3D printers, so I always pull a little bit of extra filament out, um, but then you just push it right into this nozzle, and the, the end of it looks pretty clean, so I don't like to do any modification to it, so I'm just going to press that in the slot and let's go back to the front and do load filament and it's going to take forever to heat back up getting up the temp now it's saying let's start to load the filament let's come up here and kind of see what's happening um, I just kind of pushed the filament in let's see if it's grabbing yet okay so it, it's immediately grabbing so it's starting to pull and you can hear the motor buzzing buzz and it stops for a sec and then it buzzes again. So now it's just loading the filament. That's pretty cool. So let's come on down inside and see if it's doing anything else while it's loading the filament. So uh, put the camera right here. So we'll see the first uh, glob, but we see white right there. So that's from the previous um, go around. But I did not home it back over, so says uh, now now actually the printer says uh, check filament out of nozzle back to return press OK to retry I'm gonna press OK so let's just push it over you can easily just push it over it'll go past a little wiper thing there we go so um, we'll bring it back over here and we'll press OK to keep on pressing it out because obviously I saw a bunch of white come out of there so so here we go uh, I actually had to press OK again um, to uh, to actually load the filament. I didn't press down like I should have. So sorry for the delay, guys. But here's a this is what happened. Can I press OK? So so 204 it's starting to extrude again. But there we go. It's starting to extrude a uh, solid black. So that's pretty not that much wasted material. So that's uh that is it extruding and pushing out some of the filament and that's pretty nice
and I guess uh, we'll let this thing run for a second. I'll show you this uh, the cartridge as well, uh, where this filament goes, and kind of explain that. But it's still going, but that's uh, that's solid black coming out of it now. So there wasn't a big. I don't know if you guys have had 3D printed before, but uh, with all my extruders, there always was like a big lag. You'd be extruding a lot, but then it says uh, check filament. Press OK to retry, press back to retry, or press OK to return. So I'm going to press OK. Um, there we go. So I'm going to go back and home from here. But let me show you this really quick. That's pretty cool. But um, again, you can just slide the motor right out of the way. So there we go. We'll just slide that right out of the way. But let's slide that all the way forwards. Can I go forward? Why don't let me go forwards? So there, I'm sliding that forwards. But I'm going to grab this filament tray and kind of show you what I have inside of it right now. Um, that is it. I've had like five or six prints now. Um, but that's all I got down there. That's really nice. So I don't have too much salvage down here. You've seen, I might have a little bit, but overall I don't really have that much trash. Uh, let's see what the nozzle looks like too. Uh, nozzle's squirting out a little bit. Not squirting out. It's actually sitting. But let me just wipe that down and um, we're good to print. And uh, that was a quick video about loading and unloading the filament.